Bike chains are the old school method to make ball and socket joints because you need very little equipment to make it happen. You just need the bike chain itself, um, a vise mainly to hold your piece, a power drill like this one and very few manual tools. As you have seen in the chain you have already two holes made for you so the holes for the balls are made in the right place precisely and you only have to take care of the central drill with the tap and that's it the metal in the plate is so strong that you have to soften before drilling and tapping you can do it by heating this piece as much as you can and then letting it cool down slowly and once you have done the operation drilling and trapping the piece. Once you've done, you can re-harden it again by heating it as much as possible and quenching it in oil. In a regular bike chain, you will find two size plates, those two, and you can use whatever you want, but for this ball and socket, I use the smaller one, this one, and with those holes, the size of ball that works perfect is six millimeter balls. So that's what I will be using now.
This design is not super strong, but it works perfect for a puppet body. Um, if you want to reinforce this, because the plates are so thin, you would have to silver solder two plates in each side, and that would make a much stronger joint, but it's much work and it will destroy a little bit the purpose of this video that it's making a super simple ball and socket joint using an old school method and something that it's super easy to find. There you have it. It's not a super super strong joint, but it has been used for years and years now. It's easy to make and easy to find the material, so I hope you try it. I hope this has been useful. Make sure to subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.